Hey guys, this is Faye from Faye's World Media. In this short video, I'm going to show you exactly how to use Zoom Cloud Recording to be sure to capture not only the speaker active view, but also the gallery view. This is an important distinction, especially for you content creators out there. If you're a podcaster, you could be interviewing one other person, three other people, and you don't want to just record the speaker view one person at a time. Sometimes you want four people to show up on the screen. And that can be very frustrating because by the time you get back to cloud recording, you notice, guess what? It's one person speaking at a time. Same thing if you are a person or organization who constantly run these online events. Sometimes you want to capture just the speaker view and sometimes you want the recording follow uh, the participants view where the attendees view. And that's how you're able to do this. Well, let's get started. First, what you want to do is log into zoom.us make sure you log into your own account. On the left hand side, click on settings. After you click on settings, click on recording right here under cloud recording. You want to be sure that record gallery view with shared screen is turned on. This is unfortunately automatically unchecked. If you want to go overboard and uh, for example, you want to edit this video into something a little bit more sophisticated, uh, you can also check record active speaker gallery view and shared screen separately. I don't actually need that for my use, but some of you guys might want to do that. Last but not least, one of the settings I really like is right here. Optimize the recording for third party video editor. So this will result in a larger video output. Um, it will also mean that it will take longer uh, to convert the video once you're done recording. So I prefer checking this because a lot of my clients are running events and also interviews uh, as part of our podcast. We usually want to upload to YouTube for later use. So that's it. Um, also, on, on an unrelated note, really save panelists chat to recording. I just like to keep that. So again, the most important thing is record gallery view right here and also optimize the recording for third party video editor. Last but not least, make sure you hit this blue save button to ensure that the settings have been saved. Hey, one more thing to note, these options apply to cloud recording. You won't have this issue. At least I personally have not witnessed the issue to switch between speaker versus gallery views, having to set these settings when I record to my computer. So if you are someone who use cloud recordings religiously, be sure that you visit this video and that this is done right on the back end. This video is sponsored by Restream, an application you can use to allow you to go live everywhere on 30 plus social media platforms. Restream is a absolute game changer for me as an independent creator, podcaster, and live streamer. Check it out. And we have a special deal for you coming right from phase world. Hey guys, if you have any more questions for zoom, please drop them in the comments below. Tell your friends, family, colleagues about this channel where we have a really large playlist to teach you uh, basics, but also more advanced tactics from within zoom. Thank you so much for this community and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.